Veena, it's a pleasure to welcome you. Thank you, Mateen. Pleasure to be here. I think before I ask a question, I should first congratulate you. Uh, it's been a great event here in Silicon Valley. Um, Thank it's you. A great initiative by the government of Andhra Pradesh and the IT department there to create this Vizag FinTech Festival. Uh, this is the third stop on the roadshow in the U.S. So why don't I start with the first question about the event and the opportunity that the government of Andhra Pradesh is giving to start up, not just in the U.S. or India, but across the world, to bring them and showcase the opportunity that the government is presenting in the state. So, Mateen, first of all, it's a very, very exciting time you know, for all of us. You know, we are one um, in a digital era where startup and innovation you know, is uh, you know, on the minds of you know, everyone out there. And it's wonderful to see the leadership of uh, AP government, you know, bringing together this uh, particular uh, uh, fund, uh, one million dollar fund, and a whole startup challenge, you know, bringing innovation uh, to AP. And uh, it's an exciting uh, roadshow, you know, happening over the last one week. Uh, we've met so many startups, you know, across uh, three different cities now: in Chicago, in New York, and in uh, San Francisco. Uh, overwhelming response. You know, we had about uh, over you know 200 companies. You know that uh, um, you know want to work with AP and want to you know uh, have offices in AP. And uh, we have uh, today we have shortlisted approximately about you know, 35 different companies and had pitches from some tremendous you know bright startups. Um, we had a whole ecosystem of um, Silicon Valley venture capital firms. We had. Uh, uh, incubators and uh, corporations, you know, all coming together, and uh, it was a wonderful, um, exciting energy to see in the room. And uh, we are looking forward for the rest five roadshows, you know, going around the world. So exciting, all I can say. Great, yes. it's a great job again. So I'll take you to the other side of the spectrum. You had the opportunity in the last one week to scout startups um, and bring them to pitch and you were part of you know, the judging and CXO panel also. But you're all an entrepreneur yourself, and you have done this in the past, so you can relate to what these people are going through. So I have the entrepreneurial question. Uh, as an entrepreneur, how do you see the opportunities given by the governments here? Because not all governments, because we keep hearing governments are actually becoming a problem, because there's always a policy paralysis, there are bureaucracy hurdles, etc. So as an entrepreneur, would it be exciting uh, time um, I think, you know, for entrepreneurs, um, again, wearing my entrepreneur hat, um, I, you know, most entrepreneurs, you know, look for a number of things to bring their startups together. You know, one starting out with uh, capital, um, you know, other is market access, uh, access to talent, mentoring. And uh, what is uh, wonderful to see with the AP government is uh, providing all of these different uh, aspects, you know, in uh, in this, uh, you know, AP one million dollar challenge. Uh, so, as an entrepreneur, you know, again, I think you know this is an exciting time for the startups, you know, to leverage, um, you know, this particular seed round of financing, the incubation facilities, you know, that the government is providing in Vizag, uh, the access to corporations and uh, you know manpower in uh, institutions out there. So I think it's, it's a great deal for uh, startups and um, excited to see um, one, you know, the uh, government doing all of this and two, the tremendous market opportunity India presents today for many companies, you know, around the globe. So I think it's great timing and, you know, um, great initiative. I also want to ask you as an entrepreneur a question that others uh, startups can benefit. You run a company, Magia, it's a, you know, great company. You are reaching out to a point where you know you're knocking on the doors of the enterprise customers, and that is a dream for many startups to get to that stage, from the seed. What is your advice to younger entrepreneurs? So, um, for a startup company to be successful, um, first and foremost, uh, customer focus is extremely important. The value proposition that you bring to a customer and the ability to attract a customer to use your product, uh, you know, defines the um, you know success criteria, and uh, everything else follows after that. You know, the money, the market access, and a whole lot of other things, you know, come after that. So um, at Imaja, I think you know, it's a, it has been a tremendous ride. Um, you know, we have an AI platform, you know, for uh, order to cash uh, customer financial services. 
Um, we have uh, you know, just released a, a new product in the beginning of the year, which is uh, called GIA. It's a cognitive digital assistant, just like Siri. This is a Siri for finance. Uh, this is a Siri for uh, you know, CFO. And uh, we've been getting tremendous response. Uh, we've recently been awarded Innovator of the Year you know, by uh, you know, Women in IT. And our company has been listed as one of the top uh, uh, emerging uh, you know, companies to watch out for by the Finance uh, CFO magazine. So um, again, you know, back to the basics, uh, you know, being customer focused and bringing uh, innovative technologies to bring value to the customer. Great. Exciting time. Yeah. Thank you again and congratulations one more time for a great job. And I wish you continued success, not just with the initiatives you're doing with the government of Andhra Pradesh, but also as an entrepreneur and taking a company to the next level. Thank you so much, Mateen. I think it has been an absolute pleasure and a privilege for me being a special representative of uh, Andhra Pradesh uh, in the U.S. Uh, it has been a fabulous, you know, last uh, few days meeting, you know, all of these different startups. So thank you. Thank you for having me over here. Great.